Hey guys, I haven't made a video in a while, so this is just a quick video I thought I'd show what my top three free screen recorders are for Windows. Now I'll probably do a Mac and a Mac video for this separately. Obviously I don't have a Mac at the moment, but I'll still try and round up some of the best software based on other reviews and things like that. So I'm just going to be showing you today the top three. I'm going to try and keep it quite quick for you. So my personal favourite is, of course, Cam Studio. Most people know about Cam Studio. It's open source piece of software that can record in AVI or SWF formats, I believe. And there's there's quite a few options for it. So camstudio.org if you want to download that. It's free, there's no registration required, you can just download it and use it, it installs in seconds. So I find this to be my number one screen recorder. So here it is, it's basically a small window as you can see. You've got record, pause, stop, you've got toggle view which is just useless really. but. You can have screen annotations, you can record in flash or AVI SWF formats, so you can switch recording formats and it shows you a little thing on the window here. These are just the normal things. You can have a fixed region so you can you can choose the actual dimensions of where you want to record, or you can go full screen, or you can go on region, which means you can set it to you can set the cursor up to follow the cursor so that as you move the cursor around the little bit that you're zoomed in on will stay with the cursor so you can do that which is quite cool. Got lots of audio options you can record from microphone or speakers. Uh, you can have auto pan this enables the feature so that you can you can look around like with the with the mouse. I've showed all of this in my very first video that I'm put on YouTube, free HD screen recording, so go and check that out if you want a more in-depth view on Cam Studio. Shows auto pan speed, so you can set the speed for it. There's all sorts of video options, frames per second, quality, the codec which you can use, um, frame rates, time lapse frame rates, all of that sort of good stuff. And that's pretty much it. This is quite a few options it may be a bit limited to some but it's enough you can record HD with this easily it's all free it takes seconds to install and this is why it's my number one choice my second one is the blueberry software BB flashback express the express version is the key thing here because the express version is free to use forever as claimed here and it's quite a neat piece of software. You have to register after 30 days, but it doesn't cost anything. It's free to register. I know that may be a bit of a pain, and that's why it's second place. Also, it doesn't have quite as many features. There's a lot of things in the options window that you can choose from. There's You can choose the monitor to record from. So if I have a multiple monitor set up, maybe I have two or three monitors, and I can choose which one to record from. And you can you can change the resolution while recording which is quite a good thing you can set plain desktop wallpapers so that you don't have your image shown if you've got a personal image as your desktop background which i think is not going to be used much but it's a neat little thing to have it's quite cool uh... you can hide your desktop icons to make it look nice and neat you can auto hide the taskbar so you just have a big workspace so there is a whole host of options for the display and there's just the standard sound options, basically the same as in Cam Studio. You can choose your sound source and the format, the, the sample rate, so you can choose the audio quality if that affects anything. You can also capture video from your webcam and have it in picture in picture format. So as I'm recording this now, I could have a small box up here that would show my face and this. So basically, you'd see both which is very good. I, I think this is great that they've implemented this into one of the free versions of this software. And you can also choose the source here, you can choose the format as well. So obviously, uh, if I click test webcam here, you can set all of the different settings here as well. So there is quite a few different options in the way of what you're recording. File size, you can limit the limit it by time which is kinda handy I suppose the start the stock time is 10 minutes which is YouTube limit anyway unless you're a um, 
partner of course or you can limit by file size if you don't have much hard drive space you can map it out and choose how many megabytes or you know how much that's going to take up there's pretty much nothing else here boost performance that doesn't really do much either capture driver also this is quite good for lower spec computers because it's high frame rate recording and Vista runs in basic graphics mode so the aero disables while you're recording it which is kind of good because that means you don't get choppy performance when you're using those quite heavy programs when you're recording screens so this has a lot more options than cam studio but after after you register you know it's just a bit of a pain I do like this little taskbar here though that lets you record it straight from there and it's got these options here always so you can just do that so I do reckon it does definitely deserve a place in the top three due to its large host of features not necessarily simplicity to the use there is a bit too many menus for my liking but its features make up for it and it's got a much better range of features than cam studio so if you if you're looking for lots of options then I would recommend you go with BB Flashback Express from bbsoftware.co.uk the last one is Jing from TechSmith I use TechSmith's Camtasia Studio to record and edit my screencasts which are main, my main videos at the moment I am making other videos in the future too but Jing is not necessarily I would definitely not recommend this for people uploading to YouTube because it's a pain having to download the source file from the website it automatically uploads to and all that it's just pointless this is basically for people who want to show their friends thing, things or just upload it to the sites that they have allocated it's not for reaching a wide range of audiences it's just for little tutorials or things like that you can take pictures or you can do proper screencasts the free version there's not a huge amount of options you can capture you can choose what part of the screen you can capture and you can also put annotations and stuff on it and it sends it you can send it straight up to screencast.com or Flickr or you know just the sites that it allocates and it and it paces paces what am I on about places a hyperlink on your clipboard so basically you can just copy and paste the link so that the person that you've made it for can go straight there there's no way involved so this is not for the person who wants to actually really upload to YouTube but more for people who want to do it as a private thing because lots of people they don't want all of these fancy features they just want something that will get the point across quickly and easily and Jing is how you do that it's also available for Mac OS 10 as well so that pretty much sums up my top three screen recorders for Windows they're all free of charge you don't have to do anything like I said on BB flashback you do have to register after 30 days but it's entirely free and doesn't interfere with anything so I do recommend BB flashback Express for people who want a whole host of features and options cam studio for the average user who would like to upload to YouTube in HD formats maybe and Jing for the basic users who just want it just to use once or twice when they need to also I forgot to mention that this is a video made for final on G key I think that's how I pronounce your name I'm sorry if I got it wrong but you know this guy subscribed to me and he suggested that I make a top three screen recorder video and so I've done that now and if you want to submit any requests for videos just send me a message on YouTube and I'll get back to that and hopefully make that video for you as soon as I can and obviously include a shout out with that as well